Let's crochet the capital letter J. Start off with a slip knot and then chain four. One, two, three, four. From the second chain from the hook, we work single crochet stitches across. We should have three single crochet stitches for row one. Turn, chain one, and work single crochet stitches across. For row two, we have three single crochet stitches. Turn, chain one, single crochet stitch from the first, second, and third stitches. So we keep doing this until we end up with 11 rows of single crochet stitches. You can use any yarn you want. I'm using chunky yarn with five millimeter crochet hook. For more details, you can read up on it on the description of this video. So we're coming up to the last row for a single crochet stitch, so row number 11. So chain one, single crochet across, and then changes here. Turn, chain one, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet stitch. Turn, chain two, double crochet stitch, half double crochet stitch, single crochet stitch. Turn, chain one, single crochet stitch, half double crochet stitch, double crochet stitch. Turn, chain two, double crochet stitch, half double crochet stitch, single crochet stitch. Turn, chain one, and work single crochet stitches across. So we do this for row 16, 17, 18. So this is row 17, single crochet across, turn, chain one, again single crochet stitches across. Turn, chain one, rather chain two, and then double crochet stitch, half double crochet stitch, and then single crochet stitch. Turn, chain one, single crochet stitch, half double crochet stitch, and double crochet stitch. Turn, chain two, double crochet stitch, half double crochet stitch, and single crochet stitch. Turn, chain one, single crochet stitch, half double crochet stitch, and then double crochet stitch. And then we end up with a row with single crochet stitches across. So this is row number 23, and that's the last row for our capital letter J. So make sure you fasten off and cut off any excess yarn. See you in the next video.